Hello everyone, my name is Ebenezer Osei and I am an Associate Software Engineer in the Developer Engagement Team. In this dev job today, I am going to introduce the new account switcher we've added to the developer tools. This is my first dev job, so please bear with me. We decided to roll out this feature because we realized that some customers or some users had multiple accounts they use regularly. Now, when you have multiple accounts that you use on a regular basis, it becomes a hassle to switch between accounts because before this feature, you have to log out from the application and log in with the new account you're trying to use. And um, you can imagine someone who like have to like let's say five accounts someone who regularly use five accounts in a day that's that's going to be annoying to always be doing that to, to always be logging out and logging back in and i i know some people have like maybe 50 100 accounts they that they manage i mean they might not use it every day but they still have to log in sometimes into different accounts now with this new feature your work or not your work per se, but your time in doing all the all that work or that extra work will be cut short. Cause once you log in with an account, the account's information gets saved and you get an option to add multiple accounts. And there's no limit to the account you can add. You can add a lot of accounts. And after you add your accounts, switching between accounts is as easy as just clicking an account card and the application is going to refresh once it refreshes all the um operations you perform in the developer tools or everything you do will be used with the selected account so is that easy and is that um time saving because it saves a lot of time here so i'm going to go ahead and log in and show you what i'm talking about Okay, so I'm, I'm currently logged in into the developer tools. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the new look of the account switcher. Now, as you can see, I have an accounts card right here, and this is currently the active account. And um, I'm going to explain the checkboxes later, but for now, I want to show you how to add an account. Now, before you have to log out, I think there was like a log out or sign out button right here. A log out and you have to um, log in with the new account you are trying to use. But now it's a, it's as easy as just clicking on this add account and um, you, you select your region. So I'm going to go ahead and select my region, which is US East. And now as you can see, the accounts are just um, clicked on or I just logged in appears right here and to switch to this account all I have to do is just click on it and it gets selected so you can see my information right here and like every function or any operation I perform in the developer tools will be um, used with this account so it's just very very helpful and it saves a lot of time especially for people who have to use multiple accounts now um i'm going to go ahead and uh explain what this prompt for login but um checkbox does so this checkbox is helpful when you are trying to um say login into an account in the same region because without checking this box when you try logging as you see me do before it just like automatically logs in because the out cookie is saved but when you click on or when you select the checkbox, it gives you a login screen where you have to enter your credentials and be able to log in with a different account in the same region. So that's the main purpose of the prompt for login checkbox. And it's, it's, it's good if you have multiple accounts in the same region. So you can use that for that. And um, for the confirm changes checkbox, I'll have to go to API Explorer to demonstrate how that works. But what, what it basically does is because you have multiple accounts and you can easily switch between them, you may forget and perform 
um, a crucial operation in API Explorer using the wrong, a wrong account. And by crucial operation, I mean a non get operation, like it deletes or posts or patch. So it's helpful to keep track of the, the account that's currently active. And when you're in API Explorer, you get a notification that this is the account you're about to use to perform this crucial operation. And without confirming, you will not be able to do so. So um, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate what I mean by that. So I'll come to API Explorer to do that. Now, as you can see, because it is selected, I get this notification here that asks me if I want to go ahead and use the account that is currently selected. Now, without selecting yes or clicking yes, there's no way I can continue to send the request. And this is a post request, as you can see. Now, um, I think I have a get request tab here and as you can see with the get request there's no restriction i can just go ahead and send a request here but that's not the case for a post request and it is the same for um other um non get requests like i'm trying to see if i can find delete okay so you can see with delete so you get the same notification that prompts you that you are about to use this account to perform this function now the cool thing or the cool thing about this is it gets saved with a particular account so let's say you delete an account or the, your token gets expired or anything that will cause the account to delete your confirm changes checkbox settings get saved so when you log back in your settings is your settings persists like you don't have to check it all the time so again it saves you time so this is a very um, helpful tool for you to like avoid um, mistakes or avoid making mistakes with the wrong account. And also it saves you time. You don't have to always um, select this checkbox. So I'm going to go ahead and uncheck this box just to show you that it's really optional and you don't have to do so. So when I uncheck it, <laughs> As you can see, you don't get a notification anymore because the box, the, the confirm changes box is unchecked and you can send a request or do, do whatever you want with the account. So that's it for the confirm changes. And basically that's it for the whole account switcher. This is basically all the functionality of the account switcher. I hope I was able to explain everything to you and i hope people actually use this because i think it's very very convenient for people and it makes work very easy if you if you are someone who use a lot of accounts on a daily basis so um yeah so if you have any question or you have any thoughts you can please leave it leave it into the developer forum and we'll get back to you thank you for your time